Kate Middleton is now one of the nation's most loved royals, but her journey to public life was not always easy, royal commentators claim. Over the weekend, Prince William and Kate attended the Six Nations rugby match at Twickenham between England and Wales. They showcased their household rivalry as they cheered for opposing teams. It marked Kate's first match since becoming patron of the Rugby Football Union earlier this month. William has been patron of the Welsh Rugby Union for the past six years. The couple were joined by their son Prince George, eight, who remained diplomatic, wearing a red and blue puffer jacket, free from any symbols or badges. In the 11 years since joining the firm, Kate has proved herself to be one of the royal family's greatest assets. The Duchess is now one of the public's most popular royals, routinely ranking in the top three, falling only behind the Queen and, on occasion, her husband. However, it has not always been an easy ride. Over the years, Kate has been subject to intense public scrutiny, including unflattering nicknames, most famously Waity Katie which was given to her before her and William's engagement was announced in 2010. In the early stages of her relationship, her future husband's aristocratic friends also gave her a cruel moniker, which mocked her middle-class status. In William and Kate, Into the Future, royal author and journalist Katie Nichols said, There is some snobbery towards Kate Middleton who's very cruelly and unfairly become known as Kate Middle Class. She is a middle class girl, essentially, from Berkshire, but it seems to be William's friends, some of William's friends, that have a problem with it. Some of the Duke's social set were slow to accept Kate. Ms. Nickel noted, they are known as the Glossy Posse. They are the set that come from Gloucestershire, they mix with William at Highgrove and they are essentially the sons and daughters of wealthy, blue-blooded aristocrats. And they are the ones that can be terribly snobby. In an article for Vanity Fair, royal author Vicky Ward wrote that the Duchess was victim of vicious sniping and snobbish insults from people who believe that the monarchy needs to stop marrying out of its class. Speaking on the 2011 documentary, Andrew Morton, Princess Diana's biographer said, when Catherine met William, she was really punching above her social weight. She was, after all, a girl from a middle-class home dealing with the upper classes where everybody who came for dinner was lord or lady this. That social divide did create tensions early on in the relationship. Mr. Morton also detailed the glossy posse's abominable treatment of Kate in the early days of her relationship. He wrote, Kate would have sensed reservations about her in certain quarters. While she was seen as a pretty and sensible girl, there were those in royal and aristocratic circles who believed that the Middletons were too middle of the road for the House of Windsor. Kate was treated abominably behind her back by some who should have shown better manners.